गुड इवनिंग गुरु जी माय नेम इज शशिकांत प्रभाकर एंड आई एम फ्रॉम झारखंड धनबाद एंड करंटली करंटली आई एम परसुइंग एमटेक फ्रॉम एनआईटी सिलचर असम एंड माय क्वेश्चन इज लाइक इफ आई एम टायर्ड ऑफ समथिंग एंड सो फॉर सो फॉर दैट रीजन आई एम इन डिप्रेशन सो इफ आई सडनली मूव अवे फ्रॉम दैट प्लेस एंड एवरीथिंग वर्क्स स्टार्टेड वर्किंग फाइन सो आफ्टर सम टाइम व्हेन आई कम बैक टू माय प्रीवियस स्टेज व्हेयर आई वाज व्हेयर आई वाज स्टेइंग सो एवरीथिंग गोस स्टार्टेड सेम फ्रॉम व्हेयर इट वाज स्टार्टेड सो लाइक Uh, like just like feeling hopeless or an emotional state or reaction so why does it happen actually it happens actually would you repeat the happening like uh, if i am suffering from uh, in depression or tired of something like any anything whatever like study or my uh, financial issues or whatever it it is so uh, when i change my place from one sta- uh, place to another place then everything started working fine but uh, suddenly when i come back after my previous stage so it was started same as like where it was started hmm. emotions or all all those things like so why does it happen actually because of mind of state or what it happens okay. because the root of the disturbance is within you hmm? temporarily a change of surroundings helps reduce the disturbance but mm-hmm. the mere change in external situations uh, cannot help beyond a point so once again when the external situations are not conducive you will find yourself internally flustered and to make things worse you probably keep on returning to places that made you flustered in the first place so it's no surprise that you <coughs> uh, once again uh, start feeling uneasy have you understood uh, both these points first point yes. is yes. first point is that in absence of self knowledge we give ourselves very cosmetic solutions right we we try to change the external environment we say well i'm feeling suffocated today in in this place so let's go to a bar and have a drink and try to forget what's going on or let's go to the movie hall and enjoy the latest release or hang out with friends or sometimes we say oh, let me just fall asleep and forget it all these are the kind of things we do right you want to have a change of mood you try a change of shirt now this displays a lack of intention to get into yourself you do not really want to know what is happening inside what is the real cause the root so the treatments that we offer to ourselves do work for a while and then fall apart huh? and to but make guruji, yeah sorry sorry no please but guruji actually but my state of mind is changed like uh, i just had uh, hang out with my friends just uh, go and uh, enjoy any other place like right now in himachal so for that reason like my state of mind is changed so why when i back then everything has started same as like before Because, because the state of mind is changed now. Because the mind is not just its superficial state; the mind is a deep thing, right? Almost like the ocean. Winds on the surface change the state on the surface. They do not change what is happening deep within the ocean. And what if a volcano is erupting inside the ocean? how much can then the winds on the surface help or affect or matter but we do not know ourselves so all that we know of is the superficial state of mind and that is easy, easy to address hmm? escape away to himachal with friends and indeed you will feel jolly for a while see how happy you are <laughs> not that you should not be happy 
you should be deeply happy, not superficially happy. Wisdom or spirituality or Vedanta, they are definitely pro happiness, but they want you to have happiness that means something. They want you to have a happiness that is not affected or degraded or reversed by worldly losses or random outer happenings. Hmm? Why not go for that kind of happiness? And that kind of happiness is, is difficult to obtain if, if one uses such recipes, you know. Friends, hill stations, a little bit of beer, hanging out, water sports, paragliding, all of these do uh, offer happiness. But how deep is that and how long lasting is that? And we are not talking of depth or permanence for morality's sake. We are talking of these things because we want those things. Don't you want deep happiness? Don't you want the kind of happiness that circumstances cannot take away? You want those things, hence we are talking of them. It is not some kind of morality or idealism. Exactly. Exactly. You want that and I want that and we all want that. And if we want that, then it is our responsibility towards ourselves to go and attain that. Hmm? That is the entire process of wisdom, of spirituality, nothing else. Hmm? See, you are already afraid that you will return to your place and the old self with all its miseries will re-emerge. Hmm? And even as I mentioned this, see, you have already become a bit nervous thinking of the checkout date and time. The thing is, why log in into the kind of happiness where the checkout date has been set in advance? Sometimes you know the checkout date, sometimes you don't. But it's a kind of hotel you cannot permanently reside in. Exactly. Good. You need real estate of your own, not the hotel of happiness. But that is the kind of names these hotels have, hotel fun, hotel pleasure, hotel paradise. <laughs> Ask them what kind of paradise is this? You keep reminding me of the checkout time <laughs> and if I if I overstay an hour, then you start subtly threatening me. Sir, you know, sir, we are booked, sir, somebody else has to check in, sir. And if you want to stay for another six hours, sir, why don't you pay half a day's tariff, sir? That's the reality. Yeah. Uh, that's the reality of this of this uh, rented happiness. I can only tell you that as a young man, it is surely possible for you hmm, to do better than this, right? Travelling to places is a great thing, but do not travel in search of happiness. Travel in your joy, hmm? travel in your deep purpose. If you do not have a great purpose in life, if you have nothing that keeps you internally joyful and you still keep meandering from place to place, it will not uh, mean much. I seem to be spoiling your evening. No, really. 
bonfire and whiskey must be waiting somewhere outside, right? Must be cold in Himachal. <laughs> Especially, what should I do to overcome all those things? Just need to accept, or what? <laughs> Be a real hedonist. Hmm? Real hedonist, and that means having taste for suffering. Love the real thing so much that you feel prepared to accept any challenges, any degree of hurt. The joy that we are talking of, you have to fall in love with it. You have to be a real pleasure seeker. I might not be making sense to you. Let's let's know that in advance. But unfortunately, I don't have many other ways to communicate this to you. Mm-hmm. Maybe when you will reflect later in the night today on what we discussed. Maybe things will be uh, clearer to you. One has to be, what must I say, hardcore. Hmm? Know that you deserve joy and for the sake of joy, fight it out. Know where your real thing lies. And don't compromise on it. Know that it's possible to love and that you are entitled to love. I'm talking all in abstractions. I can see that, but how else do I express myself? There is nothing else that would help you except plunging in the in the battle for the real thing. That real thing is one, but the battles that we all must fight are all separate and individual. Mm-hmm. Hmm? You will have your own personal battle to fight. I too will have my own battle to fight. Though we both would be fighting for the one same real thing. Hmm. Right? Hmm. So, fight it out. And in that fight, what you get is blows and hurt and wounds. And that makes you man enough to experience real happiness. Without those wounds and without that hurt, you can anyway never know what happiness is. Happiness does not lie in flimsy pleasures. Happiness lies in those deep wounds you take for your deep love. Hmm? And if you keep avoiding those wounds, where is real happiness? Okay, I'll think about it. I'll change myself. I'm, 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 I'm already having fun visualizing how it would be over the bonfire and probably the cocktail. <laughs> I've, I've given you enough to anyway make your evening, right? Actually, I got, I got, I got your point, Guruji, actually, what you explained. 
I am not sure I have said something that anybody can get so easily. Yes, actually, but a little bit I didn't understand. Like uh, I have to uh, fight it by myself, kind of things. Like what I feel like I I have to enjoy all those things. I have not said not that. Like... <laughs> That's just not what I have said. Yes, I, like enjoy the happiness, kind of thing. but it's good that you are intrigued right so mm -hmm. so let it let it be there in the mind i think i'll see you again someday maybe a few months down the line or a few decades who knows yes hmm? yes yes we'll def definitely <laughs> chalo okay thank you thank you guruji okay thank you thank you so much